welcome back. This is Adventures with Dr. Joe. Today we're going to assemble this enclosure that we're going to use with the Prusa XL. This enclosure can be purchased from AliExpress, basically getting the acrylic plates, which are here, the hardware, the rods, then all of the parts you can print on your printer. These were all printed on a Prusa XL. The first thing to do is to install the threaded brass heat inserts. And you can see I've already put some of these in already. And they're really nice. And this little device, this little machine, allows you to put them in absolutely perpendicular. So when we assemble this, hopefully it'll assemble really well. So let's take a look. You can see, <coughs> you can see here some of the brass inserts were already placed, threaded brass inserts. And we've got all these parts, and basically every part has between one and three threaded brass inserts for assembly. So we can see the brass inserts in the hinges and in the handle. What we're going to do is install the little hinge post on these pieces G1 and G2. So we'll put the screw in through the back. Put it in, we'll tighten it up, there we go. So here, here they are, the hinge posts, but I made a small mistake. If you inset, if you insert these threaded brass heat inserts too deeply, you may need a longer screw, which I did, but I fortunately have some other three millimeter ones uh, that are a bit longer. So that, just be careful not to inset these heat inserts too deeply. The next thing we're going to insert are these these quick PETF inserts and the openings that were made in the printed parts are threaded. Well done. This is an excellent kit. So they just get threaded in there. This is the standalone version by the way. We'll just we'll put all of these in here right now. All of these inserts take a 10 millimeter wrench. To tighten them in. They don't have to be that tight. <clears throat> but there you go. So at this point we've got a number of these we've got a number of these beams assembled. These are the little pieces that allow the filament to go through and then they're gonna, it's going to come out of these of these um, adapters that you can put the uh, PTEF filament or the tubing in to keep the moisture down when you bring, deliver your filament to the printer. So we're going to put a door in here, we're going to put a few more parts and then we're going to come back and put the acrylic plates. Okay, we've got the structure finished. The humidity gauge that came with the kit that I got from AliExpress fit in there perfectly. Now it's time to put on the acrylic panels. These are the little humidity or dehumidifier cartridges. They fit really nicely, right like that. And then the tubes are gonna fit in here, but I'm gonna put the rollers on there first. Now at this point we're going to start putting the acrylic panels on. They go in with the three millimeter screws and then there's a captured nut on the inside. There's a, basically a space in the printed corners that'll hold the nut. Okay, we have one of the clear panels on and one of the secrets when you put the nut on, I use an awl and push it into the, into the opening because the openings are very deep. So push the nut all the way down, and then you'll be able to um, enter. You know, then then the screw will connect with it. So you can see at this point I've made considerable progress. Screwed the hinges in. One screwed I put in first, and then connected the second one and screwed it in. On the handle, I have made a little mistake. The inserts had some 
of the filament in there so I ended up using much shorter screws but they worked well. I super glued a magnet in here and down in here so it'll work. Put the back panel on, the bottom panel on, and now we're going to do the rollers. Also we have these little containers that I printed to hold the desiccant, the, the water absorbing material. They just fit right in here on each side. Right in the side here. And now we're going to put the rails in. And there was another program, or another, uh, another contributor that I downloaded their parts. And I made 12 of these and 24 of these, which fit the bearings that come with the set. So the bearings fit on the post, and then these wheels fit over the bearings. And that's what the rolls of filament are going to ride on. So we're going to, we're going to set this up right now. Also, the kit was very thoughtful to come with four feet that have an adhesive backing. And they fit into the little feet that we made. It's really nice. They fit perfectly. Overall, I've been very, very impressed with this kit. It was fun to print, fun to assemble, and I think it's going to be great to use. You can see in here this little orange piece. This is a fill plug, basically to fill that spot. If you're not going to use this for, to have the filament go down, which you would if you had set that on top of the printer, I'm going to use it coming out of the front. So this is the orientation we want. We want a set of these to be like this for each for each uh, for each roll of filament. And very well put together. The, the dimensions are good. Everything fits. So we're going to put six sets of this, six sets like this. For, for one for each reel, and then we'll set this whole thing in into the container. So, so here they are, and we're going to put a filament reel in them, and then each one rides on these four bearings, ultra low friction, and then we'll place these, which I'll probably glue in. These are guides that just allow the filament to come here, and then we'll come out through these openings, and we'll put a PTEF or PTFE little tubing in here, two millimeter inside diameter to guide the filament, which is 1.75 millimeters. And that is done. So here it is, the final product. This was a very well engineered design, the printed parts fit very well, and the kit that came from AliExpress, very, very good. Two millimeter acrylic, you can put a little foam around here to make a perfect seal. I'm going to put some desiccant in here to dry it out, get the humidity down. Right now it's at 47%, which is high. A dark sheet on the top and on the bottom and on the back, clear on the sides and on the front. So you can see everything, nice opening, nice magnet closure. And again, these nice um, connectors, we'll put some, um, basically they're Teflon tubing to allow to facilitate the, the flow of filament. And these rollers are very slick, really easy to move. So those bearings are very nice. So it's not gonna cause any restriction in movement. That filament will flow nicely into the printer should be good. If this was helpful, please click thumbs like, consider subscribing. Thank you.